Hey guys, how's it going? This is me, Tino here, and uh, welcome back to another edition of Tino Talks. And uh, this week, or this video, I just kind of want to just go through a bunch of uh, video game news because it's been a while since I've had a, uh, a Tino Talks. So I just want to get through a bunch of uh, things uh, recently in the gaming news that I just kind of want to talk about. So Mortal Kombat X just came out recently, and uh, I've been loving just watching other people play the game because uh, unfortunately I don't have a, a PS4 or an Xbox One, but uh, I do have a PC on Steam, and unfortunately the Steam version is, or the PC version has been kind of eh a little bit, at least in terms of online. But other than that, I've been really excited for it because uh, it's a new Mortal Kombat, and I love Mortal Kombat. It's one of my favorite fighting game uh, franchises right next to uh, like Tekken and Soul Calibur. Um, Mortal Kombat is definitely uh, a game that I played as a kid when you're not supposed to, back in uh, Mortal Kombat 4 was like my first <laughs> yeah, Mortal Kombat game on the N64, yeah. And uh, I just really love what they've done with Mortal Kombat. Oh my god. <laughs> So I'm just really excited that like you know Mortal Kombat's back. It's like pop more unpopular than ever. There's gonna be some really cool DLC characters for Predator and Jason Voorhees, which is awesome. When Mortal Kombat X was just about to be released, I managed to buy uh, on Steam the Mortal Kombat Complete uh, Edition and also Injustice uh, Ultimate Edition um, because like. Why not? Because it's Steam and, you know, it's Steam sales and everything. So I'm just really excited that Mortal Kombat X is doing pretty well, it seems. You know, they're doing pretty well, good, and hopefully, you know, like, gets more support. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to be talking about a bunch of Nintendo stuff because I love Nintendo, as you can see. Um, first off, Splatoon uh, has a Wii U bundle. And I'm super excited for that because it's coming out near when my birthday is uh, is coming. Because uh, in about like a month from now, uh, my birthday's coming, so that's really cool. And uh, what I wanted to get for myself was a Wii U because, gosh darn it, I need a next gen system, and a Wii U is something that I really wanted to get. And uh, the Splatoon seems really cool because it's like this third person shooter with all the paint guns and stuff, and it's awesome and. Really cool. I'm just really excited that um, Nintendo's really just really pushing Splatoon as like the hot new game that everyone should probably get. Uh, and I gotta admit, like when when it was released in E3, I, I got it was really cool. And I wanted to play the game, and hopefully I'll get to play the game and play all the other Wii U games. All right. So next up, Amiibos. Yeah, so um, I've been recently getting into Amiibos, I caught the Amiibo bug, and oh my god, the craziness of Amiibos. Like, I've, I haven't i have gotten um, too crazy with Amiibos. I, I managed to get about seven with uh, like Sheik and Toon Link uh, and Link. It seems like I got almost all the Zelda ones. Uh, let's see what else I'm seeing off on top there. Uh, Mega Man, Sonic. And Kirby, yeah, those are all the seven I have. Um, I when I got my first uh, couple, I, I tried to get the uncommon ones because I knew that like, oh, it's gonna be uncommon. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy to think that like this is the new, this is the new like Furbies or Beanie Babies or whatever thing it is, uh, where people are just obsessed with them and rightfully so because they're Nintendo characters and people just want to get these really cool things um, so wave 4 is coming in like the end of May again around where my birthday is and I feel like I'm gonna get like so many of those things from uh, Robin and Pac-Man and Wadio and other you know Amiibos and stuff so gosh it's just amazing how, like, sought after Amiibos are. It just, oof. But, um, I'm still gonna keep up on my Amiibo collection, trying to see over there. Um, 
Yeah, hopefully I can get like the more common ones like Mario and Peach and Yoshi and other stuff. But also we'll get the more uncommon ones like Shulk, which costs like eighty dollars on eBay, and like you know Fox and Samus and all the other ridiculously overpriced amiibos. All right, so um, Mario Kart uh, 8 DLC just recently came out uh, with Dry Bowser and the Animal Crossing uh, people, so that's always good. Uh, other Nintendo stuff, uh, Mewtwo and Smash Brothers, which is like, yes! Oh my god, Mewtwo's in it! Oh my god, that's so cool! Now we can have those matches between Mewtwo and Lucario! Yeah! So... Um, I I have the 3DS version. Unfortunately, again, as I said before, I don't have a Wii U, so hopefully in you know, a few months from now, I'll be getting Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. And yeah, it's just really cool that they're making DLC for these care um, for Smash Brothers. And it's really exciting because like last gen it was Smash Bros. Brawl, and they never, you know, they didn't have any DLC, and the Wii wasn't really the best kind of console that uh, could do DLC. There was games that did DLC. Uh, I remember like Mega Man 9, uh, the Rock Band games, of course, and maybe Guitar Hero, uh, and a couple other uh, Wii games that uh, had DLC there. But um, yeah, I'm just really excited that Mewtwo is in it. Uh, Lucas has been just recently announced. Uh, the Mii like costume packs is really cool, and I feel like that Nintendo, out of all the uh, the gaming companies, um, really knows how to carefully uh, do DLC. Because I think that as like a purely gaming company, they know how to really do you know DLC. Um, since Smash Brothers for Wii U is still a complete package and nothing has been really cut out that's been kind of, you know, there's no D, like day one DLC thing for Smash Brothers, so which which is great. So I, I hope that they really continue on supporting Smash Brothers. And finally, uh, what I want to just talk about last is Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live is coming back. So, wow. Rock Band and Guitar Hero is coming back, which is kind of really weird, because like, back in like, what was it, like the mid-2000s, yeah, around mid-2000s or so, and like, yeah, like 2005 or 6 to 2010 or 12, whenever like the, the, the musical instrument fad kind of died out, but like, it was like super popular, you know, I, I have my own, like, look, I have my own... Now, I still have my own, like, Guitar Hero, or this is Rock Band, Rock Band uh, controllers, and recently I picked up um, Guitar Hero 2 uh, controllers for PS2 for, like, five bucks. So, like, they're super inexpensive. They're super cheap. And it's just amazing that, like, we had so much of, like, Guitar Hero and Rock Band that, like, people eventually just kind of, like, all right, we, we had enough like Rock Band, Green Day, and Guitar Hero, Aerosmith, and other like packs like that, like Lego Rock Band, oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> there was a Lego Rock Band, oh my god. Oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, I just remember that, uh, that whole time period where just musical rhythm games were just the hot thing. And, uh, like, I, I, I really like Rock Band, I like Guitar Hero, you know, I, I like those kind of games. But, like, eventually it, it did get to a point where, like, okay, we, we kind of got enough, and I'm not really sure if, like, they would ever really come back kind of thing. So, um, it's kind of interesting that, like, they're, they're doing a, a new Rock Band and Guitar Hero. They're trying to change it up. Um, I didn't really see much of what Rock Band 4 is going to do in terms of changing up things. Um, but I did see just uh, recently the Guitar Hero Live um, reveal trailer. And uh, it seems they're really changing it up. Trying to make it so that like you're live on stage and like rocking out and doing all that cool things. 
So, uh, will I be getting uh, another Rock Band or Guitar Hero game? Eh, I don't know. Um, like, I had my fill with Rock, with rock Band 2, and uh, just recently getting the, the Guitar Hero games, because, you know, they're really cheap now, and they sold, like, millions of copies. But, um, mm, I don't know, like, I might. I might. That's it. I, like, I might. I might get Rock Band, I might get the new Guitar Hero, the new Rock Band, yeah. Like, hopefully it, it, hopefully it will be really impressive. So hopefully, you know, they're good, you know, I'm not that negative of a guy or anything like that, so hopefully both Rock Band and Guitar Hero can coexist again and um, make more plastic instruments that we play in our living rooms. So yeah. So that's pretty much what I just wanted to talk about. Um, hopefully I'll do some more Tino Talks in the future, and uh, for upcoming things on my channel, um, I've been working on an uh, idea that I want to do for uh, a really cool video, and hopefully you get guys to watch it, so stay tuned, so please like, subscribe, favorite, you know, do all that YouTube things, um, please, you know, comment on uh, what recent gaming stuff you're looking forward to, and, you know, take care guys, so this is me, uh, Tino here, and... See you guys later for more cool videos. Yeah!